nerves and the spinal cord. How do you think? Your brain is divided into different areas, each one with a different job to do. The part of the brain that controls your thoughts is in the front of your brain called the frontal lobe. Nerve cells in your brain called neurons pass signals to each other and are connected to the rest of your body. Your brain can tell where the signals are coming from and interprets the messages like my feet are cold or I've pricked my finger. What does your brain do? Your brain is your body's control center. Everything you do, see, hear, feel and taste is controlled by your brain. Your brain also controls things like your breathing and how fast your heart beats as well as all your movements. Everything you think, dream and feel comes from your brain. How big is your brain? Humans have the most complicated and heaviest brains for their size out of any animal. Brains are wrinkled which save space in the skull. If the wrinkles were stretched out, the brain would be three times bigger. An adult's brain weighs around 1.3 to 1.4 kg. A newborn baby's brain is about 350 grams. Other animals may have bigger brains than humans, but they are also very much larger animals. Although an elephant's brain weighs 6 kg, a whole elephant can weigh over 9 tons. In contrast, a rat's brain is only 2 grams. How does your brain send messages around the body? Your brain is connected to the rest of your body by the spinal cord, a huge nerve center which is inside your backbone. Smaller nerves branch off the spinal cord to all parts of your body. Some nerve cells send messages from sense organs such as the skin, ears or tongue. These are called sensory neurons. Other nerve cells called motor neurons carry messages from the brain to your muscles telling them to contract. Many of the large nerves in your body contain sensory and motor neurons. Does your brain go to sleep? Nobody knows why we need to sleep. It might be that the body and brain need some time to rest and without sleep we cannot think properly. While you are sleeping, your brain is still active. We all have about five dreams each night, though we only remember a dream if we wake up in the middle of it. When you dream, your brain is as active as it is when you are awake. What is a stroke? A stroke is a form of injury to the brain. When a stroke occurs, the flow of blood to a part of the brain suddenly stops, thereby injuring all the structures connected with that part. There can be many reasons for the occurrence of stroke. A blood vessel may have ruptured causing a hemorrhage. In another case, a clot may form within a blood vessel. There may be a spasm of an artery. A blood vessel may have got closed because of a small particle floating in the blood stream. The causes of stroke are many but the resultant effect is the same. It damages that part of the brain 
through which passes the nerves that control our voluntary motions, our sensations of pain, our temperature, touch and vision. These damages could be fatal and the person could become permanently disabled. Why are some people right-handed and others left-handed? The brain is made up of two halves. The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. Most people are right-handed because the left side of the brain is used more than the right. About 10% of people are left-handed. Each side of the brain is also used for different activities with the right side being more artistic than the left. How many nerve cells are there in the brain? There are more than 10 billion nerve cells in your brain. When nerve cells die, they cannot be replaced. However, if your brain is damaged, some of the cells may take on other functions. What do nerves do? Your body contains a network of nerves that reach all parts of your body. Nerves are like bundles of tiny wires that carry signals around the body. Some nerves receive messages from the brain which then tell your muscles to move. Other nerve endings pass signals to the brain from a sense organ such as the skin, eyes, nose or tongue. Nerves also protect you from danger by making your body react before the message even reaches your brain. This is called a reflex reaction. For example, if you touch something hot, your nerves tell you to move your hand away before your brain even registers that you have touched it. How long is the spinal cord? The spinal cord is the main connection between your brain and the nerves around your body. It runs down your back and is protected by your bony spinal column. In men, the spinal cord is about 45 centimeters and in women, it is 43 centimeters. The cord is shorter than your spinal column and ends at the top of your lower back. It then branches into smaller nerves which run lower down the spinal column. How fast do nerve signals travel? Nerves are like bundles of tiny wires that carry signals around the body. Signals are carried along the nerves to and from all parts of the body and inside the brain too. There are around 30,000 million nerve cells in your body which can send signals at speeds of up to 267 miles an hour which is as fast as an aeroplane. So if you cut your toe, it only takes a tiny fraction of a second for the nerve signals to travel from your toe to your brain. What does the spinal cord do? Your spinal cord is a bundle of nerves which is about as thick as your thumb which connects your brain to the rest of your body. It is protected by your backbone which are rings of bone that the spinal cord runs through. Smaller nerves branch off the spinal cord and carry messages to and from your brain and body. An injury to the spinal cord can cause paralysis. Once damaged, the spinal cord can never be fixed. Which is the longest nerve in your body? The longest and largest nerve in your body 
is the sciatic nerve. This nerve runs from your lower spine through your buttocks to your lower leg. Sciatica is a nerve pain people sometimes feel from irritation or pressure to the sciatic nerve. What are cranial nerves? Cranial nerves bring information to and from the brain through the skull. You have 12 pairs, one set for each side of the body. Some of these nerves are connected to the sense organs and are needed for balance, smelling, tasting, hearing and touch on the face and scalp. Others control muscles or are connected to glands or internal organs such as the lungs and heart. How long are the nerves? If all the nerves in your body were laid end to end, they would measure about 47 miles. Nutrition and vitamins What does food contain? Food is not just needed to fill us up and ward off hunger. It contains hundreds of substances that your body must have to stay fit and healthy and to work well. How is sunshine helpful to our body? Sunlight destroys certain fungi and bacteria that have settled on the skin. It causes the white blood cells or phagocytes to become more active. These are the cells which attack disease germs in our body and help keep us healthy. When sunlight strikes the skin, certain substances are sent into the blood which gives the muscles new tone. The muscles become tenser and thus we can work better. In fact, our nervous system gets a kind of charge from sunlight so that we feel stimulated and want to move about. Another major importance of sunlight is that it produces vitamin D in our body. The ultraviolet light helps in the production of vitamin D in the skin. At the same time, excess exposure to sun rays is also not good, especially for people having heart troubles and lung diseases as it raises their blood pressure. Respiration Why do you need to breathe? Oxygen is a gas that is in the air you breathe. You need oxygen to keep you alive and for your body to work. Your lungs are made of tiny sacs with very thin walls that allow the oxygen to move into the bloodstream where it is taken to all parts of the body. Waste gases are removed when you breathe out. If your lungs stop working properly due to illness or smoking, you may need to use an oxygen bottle or ventilator to ensure you receive enough oxygen to survive. How do you breathe in and out? Your breathing is controlled by muscles between your ribs called intercoastal muscles and your diaphragm which is a sheet of strong muscle underneath the lungs. To breathe in, your intercoastal muscles shorten and your diaphragm flattens allowing your lungs to expand. This draws air through your mouth, down your airway and into the lungs. To breathe out, the intercoastal muscles and diaphragm relax, squeezing your lungs and forcing the stale air up and out of your body. What are hiccups? Hiccups are caused when the muscle under your lungs, the diaphragm, spasms, suck in air very fast. When this happens, your vocal cords snap shut, making the hiccup sound. Eating or drinking too quickly or a sudden fright can cause hiccups. Holding your breath or sipping water can sometimes help cure the hiccups. 
There are also many weird and wonderful cures for the hiccups, such as giving the sufferer a shock or putting a cold key down the back of their neck. These cures probably rely mostly on making the sufferer forget that they have the hiccups. How fast do you breathe? Adults breathe about 10 to 14 times a minute, but this may be as fast as 50 or 60 breaths a minute while exercising as the body needs more oxygen. Adults take in about 500 ml of air with each breath, but a man can take in about 6000 ml of air and a woman 4000 to 5000 ml of air if he or she breathes in very deeply. How do your lungs work? Air that you breathe in moves down your windpipe and then go into two branches which each lead to a lung. Inside your lungs, the airways divide into smaller and smaller tubes. At the end of the smallest tubes are bunches of minute sacs called alveoli. Tiny blood vessels are wrapped around each alveoli and air passes back and forth from the alveoli and the blood in the vessels. Why do you sneeze? Sneezing is a way your body protects itself. Dust, dirt and smoke can irritate your nose which causes you to sneeze. When you sneeze, you breathe in deeply and your tummy muscles contract and get harder, pushing air out of your lungs and out through your nose, blowing mucus and the irritant out. A sneeze can be as fast as 100 miles an hour. How much air will you breathe in your lifetime? You will breathe out enough air in your lifetime to blow up 138 hot air balloons. How do you speak? Speech is one of the most complex and delicate operations undertaken by our body and larynx in the body's voice box. It contains the vocal cords which vibrate to produce speech. The larynx is seated at the top of the windpipe near the center of the neck. The vocal cords consist of two delicate ligaments shaped like the lips which open and close as air passes through them. When the air from the lungs is expelled over the cords, the vibration of the cords produces sound. The loudness of the voice is controlled by the force with which the air is expelled and the pitch by the length of the cords. Men have long vocal cords to have heavier voices. Women generally have smaller larynx each sound in any language is determined by slightly different movements of the lips, tongue, teeth and of the mouth.